We started with what was a, a three month turnaround time where maps would take about on average three months. And, and towards the end of the project, we were getting down to where it would just take 24 hours notification time. I'm Eric Kapinski. I'm the MoDOT Improve I-70 Program Director. My previous role was I was on the I-270 North project in the St. Louis district. And in that project, our project team tried a number of innovations with the TISMO strategy. And one of them that we found to be our most simple idea, but had really good return on benefit was we, we tried a method where when we're updating our road conditions and closing a ramp or moving a ramp location or changing the configuration, we would go and notify the, the map companies directly and try to get them to more quickly and, and efficiently update the, the geometrics of their map system so any user of that third party map system could better be aware on what was going on real time in, in the road conditions. So on I-270 North, it was pretty much every week we were either closing or opening or adjusting some configuration to the, the road system. And so we started with what was a, a three month turnaround time where maps would take about on average three months. And, and towards the end of the project, we were getting down to where it would just take 24 hours notification time where they were able to kind of real time update their map system. And it really allowed users for anyone using the system for that map company to, to better operate and better navigate the system for that area. The overall goal of the real-time mapping was we just wanted to, to get better information to our third-party providers, and we wanted anyone that was using those systems to be better aware for how to navigate the construction impacts. It can be overwhelming for anyone traveling through a large work zone to know what changes are taking place. And so we were using that system to supplement our current signs be that our static signs or our big DMS boards, but this was kind of an additional tool that allowed those travelers to better utilize um, any updates or changes that were taking place. I think the, the component that the real-time mapping is, it's more on the technology side. So can we leverage technology to really make sure that our system and our improvements are, are to the best of our ability and as safe for our traveling public as possible? So utilizing this technology and that component adds another safety you know, layer to, to our network and, and can really allow that driver experience to be better as we make improvements or as we change conditions. For oftentimes that, that condition's been in that same place for, for 20, 30, 40 years, we're now having a, a drastic change that that component can really provide another layer of TISMO that can benefit the, the, the overall community. One of the, the recognitions that the I-270 North project received was the, the 2021 Governor's Award, we were awarded the, the quality award for the mapping, real-time mapping updates in those TISMO efforts. And, and I think it really speaks to Governor Parson and his team for, for acknowledging that, but it really was a team effort for, for the brainstorming of this and then the overall implementation of this. But it really was our most simple idea really had tremendous benefit. And I think that that explanation to the governor and his team and also to the public and, and map companies, it just was a, a really you know, unified approach that it took multiple partners to, to provide that real-time update. It just was incredible and, and well-received by, by everybody. Well, transportation system management operations is, is a foundation of everything we do. I mean, the whole purpose of MoDOT taking care of an operating the state transportation system uh, is Tismo. And so we need to think about Tismo every time we're designing a project, every time we're constructing a project. The 270 North team has done an excellent job uh, of incorporating Tismo into their actual design of their project, but most importantly into the real-time information that they got out there. They realized they were making so many changes over a four-year period that the mapping companies could not keep up. Apple, Waze could not keep up with them, and so they provided direct information to the mapping companies to ensure all the users of Waze and, App and Apple Maps and stuff uh, had real-time information uh, that was accurate. So if they closed a ramp, they communicated it to those companies and those companies' users then gained access to that real-time information. That set the bar high. We need to look at usually utilizing that real-time mapping as part of TISMO on any large complex project we have across the state of Missouri.